What? Actually having working gauges? It's uh, March 11th and uh, this is a, what do you call it, it's a pretty exciting morning for me. Uh, got our new instruments for the boat and uh, basically all of my instruments were from 1975 and non-functional so I bought a wind speed and depth kit and uh, this is it so I'm just gonna do an unboxing this morning take a look at what you get in this i50 i60 Raymarine um, system pack so I got a whole bunch of goodies here so it says here that I've got an i50 speed a uh, st800 p120 through hull with speed and temperature transducer um, I'm getting a i50 depth instrument quantity one and a uh, another through hull transducer which is uh, the depth transducer depth sensor uh, and then an i60 analog wind instrument quantity one and a short arm wind transducer uh, which is pretty cool so we'll start with the wind transducer what you get in the package here uh, packaging already had all kinds of uh, bubble wrap and everything in the bigger system pack box I just took that out uh, so manuals extended warranty new remarine setup I'll check those after this looks cool good condition the mount and the cable cool electrical connectors very nice I've only had the uh, Davis instrument um, what do you call it uh, the visual indicator uh, so this will be a step up actually knowing uh, what my apparent wind is and uh, true wind as well as the wind speed so that'll be uh, pretty awesome and then uh, let's see what else I got here so these are the transducers and the instruments so the i50 speed depth and the bottom one here the uh, wind instrument so speed instrument just mounting screws Pretty much comes with everything that you need in here, I think. Connector adapters, manuals, cables. Very cool. covers speed trip timer reset up down buttons for the hey I like these little covers hopefully they stay on when the winds blowing made in Malaysia so I did uh, see there's five connectors there for the cable and then I think these are the uh, um, what do they call it? The data uh, cables that go into um, the main system. So I think that uh, there'll be some power uh, on those cables, I'm guessing. But we'll see. So that worked. That was nice. So speed.
speed. Uh, what is this one? This one is the depth instrument, so it should be about the same. They put some thought into their packaging, just even doubling over the tape. Depth, so same base basically, just depth alarm offset, so thing looks good, no scratches. Oh, it's gonna be nice actually having working gauges. I took off uh, my Signet Marine 1975 gauges and uh, I guess they were very mechanical. They had springs and things in them so uh, it was not possible for me to fix them at all. Uh, I would have had to send them over to Signet and then they give me an estimate on the price. They do still are in existence and uh, the price system was pretty much the, uh, the same or more expensive than this kit. So I said, well, what else do you guys have? And, they, and I want to get the Axiom because I wanted to have a multifunction chart uh, display and uh, oh, this one's a bit different. Rota and Vane. So there's actually two sensors. Not oh, very nice. Display, true. VMG, TAC. Oh, new uh, toys to play with. Figure out how that works. So there you go. Port, starboard sides. Uh, that'll be the where the wind is coming from and I believe in the middle here I've got true and apparent so I can I can click through that and actually get uh, speed and angle I'm guessing so that's cool so anyways uh, I decided to go with Ray Marine because they're industry leader I can get parts anywhere uh, one of the industry leaders there's also b and G I was kind of contemplating either one uh, but they have the whole chart plotter tie-in and then Ray Marine had the radar um, and uh, something that I like is the cameras uh, so I'm looking at getting a um, camera attachment which is w with the Axiom brand so that's actually probably the one reason that I went with the Ray Marine the B&G uh, I wasn't aware if they had a camera hookup yet but if I'm going to be out at night uh, looking at or uh, sailing and I'm gonna get a sleep in there somehow um, I'm gonna want some visual aids as well as radar so the radar alarm will tell me if a boats within a few miles um, but I want a visual alarm so if I'm coming up to something like a log or something in the in the uh, in the water uh, I really wouldn't mind some AI giving me some kind of alarm and I know the Ray Marine um, has a product on that so uh, when I get to that point uh, I'll make another video about it but, um, so here's the two transducers the speed and temp and the depth transducer so this one here is the depth very cool and there's manual that looks like the, uh, the cap to screw on so it comes wrapped up Oh, this one's a metal, or maybe a hard pocket. This is pretty heavy, actually. Do not use solvents. Use water-based anti-fouling paint only. Do, new, do not cut transducer cable. So these, I believe, are measured. So uh, this is the through-haul replacement that I have to put in. Um, it looks like a two-inch, about a two-inch hole to replace my uh, Signet Marine ancient uh, set up depth and temperature or just depth I don't know actually which one it is this is model B I th you know what it probably makes sense for this just to be depth if they give it in a kit ROHS okay So that's coming with me today. Let's see if I can get that installed. And then, uh, so this is the speed and depth. Speed, sorry, speed and temp air mire. Okay. 
Hmm. My Signet Marine actually has um, two uh, O-rings for leaking. Oh, there's another big one up top there, so that must be how it, if this water gets by this one, there's a second seal there. Cool, so that uh, basically just goes into this here transducer as well. So another one, and it's got a cap for winterizing, I guess. I could pull the sensor out, make sure that there's no water on it so that nothing happens. And uh, I can recap the hole if I had to with that cap. So definitely hold on to that. And it looks like I got a washer and a cap for the same kind of um, through hole. I guess one bummer side of this is that uh, it's plastic of some sort. And I'm going to be pulling out my nice bronze through holes, but either way, it's okay. I'm glad to have working instruments as a priority. <laughs> so those are the five cables. So this runs basically directly into the uh, sailing instrument. Um, that I-50. So basically I'm going to have to fish that up into where my instrument cluster goes. So there you go. Uh, so that's a Raymarine uh, system pack so it's the i50 i60 system pack with the short uh, arm uh, wind vane so with that I'm gonna sign off until the next uh, video if you like what you see and uh, you, you know appreciate your any comments that you guys might have please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up uh, I could use your help thanks bye bye you know what, it came out right on the edge of the crossbar, that's why it bent.